So a good question came up from a Storyline user today regarding how to show a warning or a message if you've applied some conditions to your next button down here in the lower right of your player and the learner tries to click on that button before your conditions are met. Like in this example, I've got these three buttons on my slide and I want the learner to click on all three before they can move on. And these each just display, you know, a little bit more content on a layer that I've created on my slide. And if they don't click all three before they click next to move on, then they see this warning saying you can't do that. And then they have to click here on the red X to clear the warning. Now they can look at the content that they missed the first time and now they can move on to the next slide in the course. So here's how we can do that. This is a real sil simple example. I've just got a couple of slides and here's my first one with my three buttons, right? And then for each of those three buttons, I created a layer with the content that I want the learner to see. And of course I hooked up the buttons so that they would display the correct layer, right, in my trigger panel. So button one shows layer one and so on. I also created this fourth layer and this is where the warning message shows up. I just added a simple rectangle, drew this right in Storyline with Storyline shapes and I made it partially transparent so it would look kind of like a light box. And then here's my text box, right, where I created the text for my message and then I also added this red X that allows the learner to close the message once they read it. So you, I inserted a button and then just added a trigger saying hide this layer when the user clicks. That way they can go back to the base layer to find out what they missed and look at the content that they need to see before they move on. The only other thing that I needed to do beyond that was work with a couple of triggers to control the way the next button behaves. Now let's switch to this slide right here so you can see what the trigger normally looks like. By default, this is the trigger that you get with the next button. Storyline just does this for you and you'll see this trigger um, on every default slide that you create unless you change it or remove it. So it says jump to the next slide when the user clicks the next button. But in our case, we wanted that to happen only if all three buttons were clicked. So on my trigger, I just added a few conditions. I said, yes, jump to that next slide when the user clicks the next button, but only if all three of the buttons are visited, right? So button one has to be visited and button two and button three. And you can create your own triggers by clicking on this little green plus sign. So that takes care of the behavior if all three buttons are visited. What if they're not though? That's where the second trigger comes in. So I created a new trigger and you can do that by clicking on this create a new trigger button. And this one is kind of similar, but check out what happens here. This time we're saying, instead of jumping to the next slide, we're saying show the layer called oops. That's the layer that contains our message when the user clicks the next button. And here's the conditions when we want you to do that. So Storyline goes through the conditions and if any of these are true, then it's gonna display our warning layer for us. So here we're saying if, um, if button one has a state of normal rather than visited, or button two has a state of normal, or button three has a state of normal, then we wanna show our warning layer. And this or is kind of important here because when you add a condition, when you click on this little green plus sign, you get to choose whether that new condition that you're adding is gonna be an and or an or. Remember on the other one, we said and on all of them because we wanted all three of these buttons to be um, visited if the, uh, you know, if the next button was gonna work. But in this case, we're saying if any of those are not visited or if they are, you know, if any of them are normal, then we want to show that layer. So then we end up with the behavior that we saw a minute ago. So if we click next now, we get the warning. If we visit one button and click next, we get the warning. It's only if we click all three buttons and click next that we are able to move on in our content.